In this exercise, we're going to be discussing creating basic sketch features. There are two basic types of features, sketch features and place features. The term sketch feature refers to a 3D feature that is based on a 2D sketch. The term placed feature refers to a 3D feature that you place on the existing faces and edges of a part and do not require a sketch. What this really means is, are we creating geometry or are we reducing geometry is what it boils down to. So things like extrudes, revolves, sweeps, lofts, we're creating geometry so we have to have a sketch. For modifying geometry, then it's a placed feature. The best way to understand this is if you look at the toolbars. We have the create toolbar. All these require sketches. And we have the modify toolbar, where some of these do require some sort of sketch, but most of these do not require a sketch to create it. Holes are kind of the oddball here because it can use a sketch, but it's not required to use a sketch. Because most 3D models include some combination of extruded and revolved features, a basic understanding of how to create them is essential for successful model creation. You can create most 3D models by combining multiple extruded and revolved features. You start by creating a 2D sketch that represents the basic shape, and then use different feature creation tools to turn that 2D sketch into a 3D feature. If we look at these two sketched features here, we can see this extrusion. I can turn on the sketch so you can see it. Even turn it around here so you can see it a little bit better. See there's the sketch I created to extrude this out. And then we can look at this one. We can turn on the sketch on this revolve. See the visibility here. And you can see the sketch that was used to create it. You have to have a sketch to create either a revolve or an extrude. These are not the only base features you can use, but these two are gonna be in 99.9% .9 of all the parts you create, you're gonna have some kind of an extrude or revolve base feature. There are gonna come times when you do like a loft or sweep as your base feature, but most of your designs are gonna start out with either extrude or revolve based feature. The definition of a sketched feature from Autodesk is sketch features are 3D features that you create from an existing 2D sketch. These features serve as the basis for most of your designs. When you create a sketch feature, you begin by first creating the sketch profile for the 3D feature. For simple sketch features, this profile usually represents a 2D section of the 3D part being created. For more complex sketch features, multiple sketches can be created and used within one sketch feature. What this is telling us is if you're familiar with the old 2D style of drafting, you created a three view, sometimes you'd create a section view. And usually this is kind of your front view or your section view of your part, and then it's just revolved or extruded. So it's very simple going back to the basics of drafting is thinking about what is this part going to look like in section, and then drawing it out. This may not be the completed part, but this is going to be essentially the starting point. This is our base feature. This is the first feature that you create inside of a part. Autodesk considers this the base feature because it's the first one you created, and it's usually the most important, making up a majority or the chunk of your design. After you create the base feature, additional sketch features or place features can be added to this to create your finished design intent. We can do that by removing material, we can add material, different things like that. The key attributes of sketch features include the following. An unconsumed sketch is required. What that means is it's gonna be the first thing you have in that part, so you're gonna start up a sketch, you're gonna draw something out, and then you're either gonna revolve or extrude it. It has to have that unconsumed sketch, meaning no other object is using it. If something else is using that sketch, then it's no longer the base feature anyways, so it's not that important. But the base feature, you have to have an unconsumed sketch. And likewise, sketches can be used for a secondary feature, but once again, it has to have an unconsumed sketch. When we get talking about secondary sketches, we'll actually talk about sharing sketches and how to reuse sketch data. The result of the sketched feature can add or remove mass from the 3D geometry. In other words, 
If it doesn't do anything, Inventor's not going to let you do it. So you either extrude and add material, or you extrude and remove material. For the base feature, it's always going to be add material. There's nothing to remove material from, so you have to have a base or a starting point, so you have to have some kind of mass there to remove from. When you create a new part, the initial sketch is the basis of your 3D geometry. After the sketch is created, you create a sketch feature, such as an extruder or evolve, to create 3D geometry from that initial sketch. When you create a 3D sketch feature, the sketch itself becomes consumed and becomes a 3D feature. Prior to this, the sketch is considered unconsumed and can be used for any sketched feature. So if we look at our H for example here, and I delete this extrusion, I have an unconsumed sketch. I know that it's unconsumed because I can see over here in the browser that it's not shaded out. As soon as I extrude this out, it becomes consumed. Inventor moves it underneath my extrusion and it grays it out. It also automatically turns it off for me. Now that sketch is still there, I can still see it, I can still modify it. If I turn the visibility on and I change the dimension here, you can see that it updates the sketch. Now, because this sketch has been updated, it's not necessarily updated my extrusion yet. I would need to come up here to the top and say local update. Now it'll update my geometry to my sketch. Typically, whenever you're creating sketches, you're doing it for a base feature to start with. So that we get a base feature. And then we may come over here and do a secondary feature on the side of this. And I can do a cut. I could say through all. My initial sketch was the H, and then the secondary sketch gave me this cut through here. If we look, there's not really anything different other than it just gives us the very first sketch as your base sketch and your base feature, and then your secondary and your secondary feature. The only difference is, is this secondary sketch and secondary feature is if I delete this first one, it's going to want to delete the second one. It understands that there's nothing there for the second one to use, so it's going to want to delete it. You can't delete your base feature, whereas I could come in here and suppress my secondary feature. See, I can suppress that because it's built on the first one. If I suppress the first one, it automatically suppresses the second one. So there's that relationship there. Your base feature is initially what you start with, and then your secondary feature is used to build on top of that. I encourage you to play with the base features, extrude and revolve, come up with a couple little parts on your own, and try to draw something out. Something like this revolve is a good simple revolve, and this H stack here. It's a good simple feature. So try to draw this out on your own, play with it a little bit. In the next couple of lessons, we'll go into details on extrude features and revolve features.